make sure I can line it up, man. What y'all think about that Will and Jada thing? Listen, I don't care about no entanglement. I don't care about them being separated since 2016. I don't care about Will Smith slapping Chris Rock. What I got from this whole thing, obviously she's promoting a book, but what I got from the whole thing is the fact that they can have open dialogue. They can talk about what it is that, that kind of caused a disconnect between the two. I like that. Any woman I've ever dated, I let them know, listen, if it's something I'm doing wrong, just come to me and we can talk about it and we discuss it. If it's something you don't like, just come to me and we can talk about it and we discuss it. Something I did wrong or I should be to come to you with something you did wrong that I didn't like, vice versa. Keep that line of communication open. I am a talker. Any girl that I I date, I should be able to go to her and express whatever it is on my mind. There should not be a, a conversation that's off limits if you, if me and you are together. That's how I look at it. So what I like about them is that it doesn't turn into violence. It doesn't turn into a beef. Will said it in a, in a recent interview. Oh well, it was an interview. It's basically he. I'm paraphrasing, but he, he has arm around Jada, and he said. I love Jada unconditionally, no matter what. She is my best friend. So all this Jada played Will and all that, they sat down and had these conversations. Will said they have deep philosophical conversations at home together all the time. So this is what they do. They just can't find that, that connection, that mutual ground. I like how it don't have to turn into that. I like how it don't have to turn into a reality TV based um, drama in which people kind of gravitate towards. Um, because I, I can tell you in the black community, we, we have a problem with communication and things that's uncomfortable. And we feel like we're attacked. Now we feel like we have to attack. Now it's an argument. Now it's, oh my God, she always complained about this. And when I tell a man, I told a man one day, he said his girl was complaining about something over and over. I said, okay, well then correct it. You can't get mad at her complaining about what you're doing, but you ain't doing nothing to fix it. Fix what you got going on. And vice versa. If he's complaining about something, fix whatever it is you got going on. But people want to turn that to, oh, my God, man, it's, it's a controlling thing. No, it's an understanding kind of thing. There's a difference. So that's what I took away from, from, from Will and Jada, just listen to her interviews and, and, you know, how she talked about Will. She ain't dogged that man, and he never dogged her. But I think they'll, they'll find a way to come around, or they'll find a way to coexist in this space and make this, this lifelong partnership um, work over time. I like it. It might not be, you know, something that I would, would do personally, but I can understand it from their perspective on why they're doing it that way and why they don't want a divorce and why they, they want to continue trying it this way. Ain't no wrong with that because we've been doing it for two, probably two decades or more. This, this generic way of what we say a relationship is supposed to be and it hasn't worked. So I, I let them go ahead and do it their way. I don't know Will and Jada. I don't know what goes on, but I know it's other couples in Hollywood that's going through far worse that we don't know about. But they're on the red carpet, and because they got matching outfits, we going, oh, it's relationship goals. So, I'm letting rock out. Nothing bad to say about them. The fact that they can talk, that's how I look at it. Because I know a lot of couples that have been together 10 years, and they don't even like each other like that. I remember I, I asked a girl recently, not recently, it was a while ago. I asked her, I said, can you name 10 things you like about your husband? And she couldn't name me 10. We got a problem here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So whatever it is that work to keep people together, keep people at an at a, at a even temper, I'm cool with that. But, you know, let me know what y'all thought, man. Let me know what y'all thought. I ain't here to bash nobody. I ain't in their world. I ain't in their life. But with, from the information you give me, this is my take on it. If we could talk about it and we could work through it through talk therapy, I'm straight. I don't want no problems. And that's how I look at it. And if that's that work for them, do their thing, man. Will and Jada, shout out to y'all. Probably going to see this video, but it's cool. But let me know what y'all thought. I'm gone.